Well, what's up to all my chicken grease junkies out there in YouTube land? This is Fast Jimmy 71 coming at you from the Chicken Grease Garage. What's cracking with everybody? Today is Tuesday. It's a beautiful day in the shy. It's about 80 degrees. But I gotta go to work. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> gotta make that money to supply that habit back here. Uh, well, uh, this is gonna be a little video, a uh, little bit of update on the project that I got going on but I also got some goodies that I picked up on the weekend I went to the flea market with my granddaughter and uh, picked up a few things really nice very cheap too very impressed <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this camera around I'm gonna show you what I got so don't go nowhere I'll be right back all right my brothers I'm back well I had to step quite a ways because there's uh <laughs> this pretty this box is pretty big uh well first off i picked up this rock and roadster uh flat v8 it's a 116 scale this thing is badass <laughs> i've never seen this kit before and i've never heard of this brand before it's called the mini craft model kits uh i don't know if anybody else out there has heard of this uh brand but i've never heard of it and uh i couldn't pass it up man brand new uh still in the wrapper was still sealed uh, i paid 10 bucks for that <laughs> 10 bucks that's crazy 10 bucks i couldn't believe I paid 10 bucks for a 116 scale but uh when i opened it up man it's it's mind-blowing man the detail the detail the detail this stuff has man inside this kit uh it is badass i like it um can't wait to get my hands on it to start putting it together but that's gonna be a later project but let's move on to these right here these are these are original kits still in the plastic still factory sealed this is a hot rod uh, series this is a custom 56 ford pickup this one is from 1993 then we have a Ravel uh, VW street machine Volkswagen this one's from 1994 these kits are both factory sealed and I paid I think if I'm not mistaken I think I paid 10 bucks each also for these uh, but they're not bad they're factory sealed and they're original kits uh, which is pretty 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 cool um, picked up some hot wheel cars and you know a couple of little knickknacks here and there but this is like what I really wanted to show you guys that um, <laughs> this 116 scale is bad. It's badass. Um, I'm going to do a, a, a box review, inbox review uh, to show you guys what's inside this kit. But I'll do that one probably tomorrow. Uh, I'll show you all the contents inside this box and show you how much it brings. It brings a lot. That box is loaded. Well, let me uh, pull these boxes to the side so I can show you the progress on my project. So let me move this out the way. See, factory sealed. This box is a little smooshed, but that's okay. This box is in mint condition. Still in the plastic. Pretty cool. Well, here's the car. Uh, it's in semi primer. Uh, this the body is prepped and ready to go, but I haven't had a chance to primer it. The front clip is primered. Still a little touch up I have to do here and there. The motor has been primered. Chassis has been primered. Everything has been primered. Uh, motor needs to be painted now and detailed and wired up and all that good stuff uh, Then the chassis oh Fell off There Yeah Sucks when you gotta do this One hand Here's the chassis all the suspension and everything that's been done to it so all I gotta just do is paint it detail it like I said here is the front end still some work oh I did fill in that gap 
that it had right there and that it had a it was kind of like I had a little bit of a spacing issue a gap issue with the body and uh, front end uh, so I fixed that sorry that was a little blurry but uh, this is ready to go so and there are the tires and rims so not really much I've been working at it little by little whenever I get a chance uh, I've been pretty busy on the weekend so that's it and there's some more parts and as you remember there is the Nova that I still have to finish uh, that one is going to be a curbside I'm not putting a motor in that but I am going to tint the windows all the way around because it's not going to have an interior this is just going to be a body and nice tires it's going to have a beautiful paint job and I'm going to keep it simple uh, and nice I'm not going to go all out with this car. I'm just going to give it a nice paint job. This is actually leftover parts from um, this chassis. actually from the GTO that I made for Dave Parker a long time ago. That's leftover parts. So, still working on that little by little. And that's really about it. So, uh, yeah. This kit, man. Can't wait to get my hands on it so I can start uh, putting it together but that's going to be a later later project but uh, like I said I will be in, doing an unboxing on this car and showing you what it brings so you guys can see and if anybody out there knows what this brand is and ever heard of this brand and if this brand is good or not but for what I've seen it's got some really cool stuff so uh, just leave me a message or a comment and let me know what you think so guys, I got to start getting ready to go to work. So, this is Fashion Me 71 saying peace, and you know it, chicken grease. Laters.